morning everyone and welcome to Raina Mo's Designs and today we are going to be doing a couple of projects to finally complete our full look of the black and gold tablescape. So if this sounds like a tutorial that interests you please keep watching. Okay so for this particular project what I decided to use for the low centerpiece are these black little boxes that are partitioned that I found at Epic Dollar. I'm going to use a block of foam from Dollar Tree, something to cut that foam with, and I'm going to be using the black roses that I picked up also at Epic Dollar and my handy dandy tool to actually cut the wires of these roses. So, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is take out the partitions because I'm not gonna be using those. So I'll save those for another project. And go ahead and open up, this is gonna be the easiest project ever. Go ahead and open up my foam block. I'm gonna cut it into fours, and when I come back, I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so now that I have my blocks of foam cut up, I'm just gonna place one in each and just kind of center it. You are more than welcome to hot glue this to the bottom of your boxes so that while you're in transit, everything won't move. But since this is just temporary demonstration purposes, I'm not going to um, hot glue these. So the next step is I'm gonna go ahead and cut off my roses and I'm going to trade out these black leaves for green leaves from uh, Dollar Tree flowers that I've had and greenery that I have stashed away. And when I come back, I'll show you the next step. So I have my foam already inside my box and I have cut the roses off of the uh, branch that they were on. So all I'm gonna do is take off the black leaves, grab some of the green leaves that I have, and some of these are double-leaved and some of them I have cut so that I have single leaves like you would normally receive from like the Dollar Tree. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and dress up my roses and when I come back, I'll actually start putting them in the arrangement. All I'm going to do is go ahead and do my arrangement and I'm gonna stick the very first flower in in the center because that's gonna be the height of the arrangement. And even though I cut all of these off at the same location, it's on a wire so you can bend them however you choose. So I'm just gonna go through and add flowers and arrange them the way I think they sh need to be. And then I'll come back and I'll show you the next step. This is what it looks like with all of the roses attached and that's seven heads of roses. And I know what you're thinking, Raina, um, it's supposed to be black and gold, where's the gold? We're gonna touch the flowers with this gold spray that I got from Dollar Tree. And then we'll come back and we'll decorate. I hope you can see the pretty little flecks of glitter on the roses because it's just a hint of gold. So what we're going to do is take this embellishment that I got from Epic Dollar that you guys have seen because I used it in the second uh, medium height arrangement and I'm just going to embellish the box. So with my hot glue, I'm just going to, I've already pre-measured. So I'm gonna add a little dollop of hot glue and then towards the back or where I deem to be the back, I'm just gonna add it to the center. And you can add glue all the way around. I'm not going to. I just want it at the center of the box and then I'll just connect and join the seams together. And when I come back, we'll move on to the next project. Okay, so what I have here are two rectangle mirrors that I found at Epic Dollar. These mirrors have to be something like, let's see what it says. Okay, it doesn't say the size, but they have to be something like 11 by 18 because they're really long. So I just uh, cleaned them up just a little bit with a little Windex and paper towel. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use this double-sided foam tape to make these uh, this a uh, mirror runner that is collapsible. Um, 
and instead of keeping the gold all the way around this particular runner because I'm just showing you the idea you can make it as many panes of mirror as you need or as you want if you're having an eight foot table I would suggest that you use at least four of these um, mirrors the table that I'm going to be using, I think it's either a four foot or a five foot table, just a small little table to give you an idea of what everything will look like as it's set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these two pieces of plastic at the end of each one of these mirrors. And then when I come back, I'll show you the next step. So when you're done, you will have two ends that have been taken off and then I just ran a little bit of hot glue underneath where the cardboard and the actual mirror pane glass uh, come together. I just ran a little bead here and there just to make sure that I have the mirror as secure as possible so it doesn't move while I'm working. Then all I'm gonna do is take the mirrored glass Flip it over where we have the cardboard exposed, line them up, and give a smidge amount of space so that it will be able to fold close. And that's fold close inward where both panes of the glass will be seen. So I'm going to take my foam double sided tape and adhere it to the back, securing both frames together. And then I'm just going to cut it. And then I'm going to flip it over. So now they can fold in on each other, which is what I want. Okay? So I know you're probably thinking, but you have this huge, ugly gap here in the center. Yes, I do. And that's easily fixed because now we get to decorate and I get to blink. I'm gonna take my gold ribbon from Dollar Tree and just measure a little piece that's gonna run from end to end. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that. And then with my hot glue, I'm going to affix it to the innermost part of this mirror. Now, keep in mind that the tape that we put down, it is already sticky. So you'll have that as a little bit of reinforcement of security. But I'm going to fold my ribbon in half just like I did in the tutorial of the graduation frames. And I'm just gonna place that right here into the center and work that all the way down. And then I'm gonna come back with the hot glue and flatten out the point of the ribbon so that it's attached to both sides of the mirror. what she looks like so far and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of these crystals to either side and I know that these are clear crystals they're not gold crystals or black crystals and that's okay because this particular mirrored uh, table runner is something that I'm going to actually be keeping and using so I want clear so that's why I'm going to use that 
These I got from Epic Dollar. It's like this particular um, video is like almost all Epic Dollar items. But that's just to show you that you can find items anywhere and you don't have to make things exclusively from one dollar store that you go to. Whatever you find that you like, you can use. You can intermix things or you can go with one particular store. It really just depends on you. And I'm just going to lay these on the glass strategically so that it is even. Oh wow. This just really kicks up the glam factor on this table runner, 10 notches. Now I'm using this all in one scoop um, without separating the sticker, but by all means, if you feel it would be easier, cause it would be, to just use the sticker in pieces, then you can definitely do that. And so, I'm having mine kind of overlap on the ribbon just a smidge to kind of hide that seam of that raw mirror edge and ribbon. And it's, it is so cute, very, very fancy. And I'm gonna also do it on the other side. Now, here's an option for you. If you wanted to take the time to snip one of these, um, stickers and just use half of the design on this side and half of the design on the other side you could absolutely do that and that would be gorgeous too a little bit minimalistic on the bling factor but gorgeous nonetheless but i'm not gonna do that <laughs> i'm going for the gusto with the glam So this is what she finally looks like. Now, keep in mind, these two areas here, top and bottom, when you place your decor down, you can hide that with a flower, if that's something that bothers you. You can add extra bling, but keep in mind, if you do, it's gonna affect the foldability of it, okay? Which is what I'm not trying to do with my project. But you know, you are more than welcome to embellish and decorate the way that you actually like. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is set this table and show you exactly how this final reveal of a black and gold gala sweet 16 ball, wedding, class reunion, anniversary, whatever it is that you wanna use these particular pieces for, you can use them. Okay guys, it's time for the big reveal and this is how our tablescape looks. I have it on a miniature table, so don't pay attention to the scale of the table. Just pay attention to the beautiful items that we've created. The low center piece, the medium height center piece, which I've added a fan that's black and gold to help accentuate the beauty of the table and the, the mirrored runner. And then obviously we have the tall center piece that is back there in the back. I've just added some crystals. I've added some more of those mini plastic masquerade masks to the table just to emphasize that this was for a masquerade ball for a sweet 16 initially. You can see that beautiful tall display centerpiece in the background with the fringe. Absolutely beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want everyone to really take these different ideas, use them at will for whatever events it is that you have, add your own embellishment and your own twist to it, and just enjoy creating. And on that note, hey everyone, have an absolutely wonderful evening. Make sure you comment, you rate, 
you subscribe and you share these gorgeous, gorgeous centerpiece ideas. Bye.